So you have an ugly website, huh? I'm really sorry to hear that, but you know what? You've accepted it, you're here, and acceptance is the first stage of healing. But honestly, redesigning takes such a long time that you have to ask yourself, should you even bother? Now I know that's not the question that you were expecting to hear, but honestly, it's not always necessary. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about the pros and the cons of redesigning, and I'm gonna show you that it might not actually be as direct as you might think, but I think by the end, you're gonna be able to make your own decision. My name is Trent Canelli. I'm a marketing strategist, and on this channel, I talk about all the things that you can do to improve your business through marketing, sales, and analytics. So if that sounds good to you and you're excited, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're into it, comment and let me know about your ugly website. I wanna know the thing that you hate the most, and stick around until the end for a free consultation from me, figure out how that you can get that. I do it once a week for one hour for completely free, no holds barred, or to get a free guide to building landing pages with Elementor. That's open to absolutely anybody. We'll talk about that at the end. Until then, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna structure this pro, con, pro, con, pro, con. And I'm gonna start with a pro because I'm a positive guy. And the first pro is modern design reaps modern rewards. For new users, for anybody who's coming to your site, whether they realize it themselves or not, design trend matters. Design dictates emotion, and an old or an ugly website is gonna feel more like a corner used car lot where it just feels a little bit scummy, a little bit like you don't really wanna be there. Whereas a new modern site is gonna feel like a Tesla dealership where you're, you're happy to be there, you're excited about what you're looking at, and it just feels sleek and modern and, and super cool. There is no doubt that that kind of emotion is gonna affect buying habits. It also affects whether people are even gonna stay on the page. So you wanna make sure that you are getting the right emotion out of people. That is why modern design matters. So the first con is that a huge page design doesn't always mean a huge change in conversion. It's kind of along the lines of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Users might be coming to your site again and again, buying again and again, engaging again and again, and they're used to the look and feel, and then the minute that you change it, it's a shock, which means typically you're gonna see a lower conversion rate. Now that's normal across the board, but if your conversion rate is drastically lower, that could mean that people are just rejecting the new look outright, which is damaging you overall, and you might need to revert, which means you wasted all this money. So the best way that you can figure this out without draining a lot of money into this project is to create one page, like let's say your homepage, whatever your biggest landing page is, one page, split test it. You can check out this video on how to split test between the old version and the new version, and then see which one performs better. Pro number two is that you can focus your message a little bit more. So your brand might have changed, or you might find that your website has so many pages now that people don't know where to go and they're confused. These things allow you to focus your message because you're completely reshaping the idea of your page, which means you can reshape your brand, reshape your messaging, all kind of at the same time, okay? So this allows you to be more direct with your message, allows you to be more clear with your branding, and it allows you to kind of clean up all that extra page mess, or even just the menu at the top, to make sure that people are focusing on what you want them to focus on, and moving down the page the way you want them to move down the page to take the action that you want. Con number two is that you can't just change one page. A website's all about consistency, and if you're changing one page, you have to change the whole thing. Because if you have one page that is stylistically very different from another page, and those two link together, so you're sending people from like the home page to app dot whatever the home page is, and they're different style, then you're gonna confuse people. They're gonna feel like they left the website, which means they're more likely to leave. So you need to make sure that there is a stylistic similarity, which means that at a very minimum basis, you need to be able to reskin everything. So not necessarily you need to change the data on every page, but you at least need to make the look similar. So if you have a thousand pages, which is not out of the realm of possibility, you need to at least reskin a thousand pages. That's not gonna be easy. That's gonna take several months because you need to plan, frame, write, and build all of these pages, okay? Pro number three is that redoing your website has a lot of other benefits that go with it because these are things that it doesn't make any sense to do after you've redesigned your website. So for instance, your SEO, why would you build your website out, then think about your keywords, then redraft your page again, and then put it back in there? Because it might even end up being that the keywords you need to put on the homepage have nothing to do with what you've already put on the homepage. So it's important to do your SEO keyword research first so that you can get a better understanding of what needs to go where, then you can structure out your page. 
Same thing goes for funnel redesign. If you've got those old, ugly websites, you probably have a lot of different links that are going all over the place and people are trying to go to all different places and getting confused. You can redesign your funnel, keep people focused, keep people moving down the page, which means that they're gonna be more willing to convert because they're gonna be more directed down that funnel. And then finally, it just lets you clean house generally. You can get rid of programs you don't need, plugins that you're not using anymore that slow down your site. This helps you to just, you have that opportunity, you might as well avoid the costs that you're not getting any benefit out of. You might as well get rid of plugins that are slowing your site down. Just get rid of all of that right now, just do it. So the last con is a negative effect on your SEO page rank with Google. This is a temporary problem, but your rank is negatively affected when you make huge changes. Because when you change the text, the keywords, and the structure, you're changing a lot of the basis that Google has to track you and to understand where to rank you in their own structure, okay? So they're not gonna be able to use those same categorizations. They have to recrawl you, they have to relearn you, they have to figure out all of your authority points again. So if you have backlinks, for instance, you need to make sure that you guard those with your life, which means don't change your URLs if you can absolutely avoid it, because if you don't change your URLs, theoretically, the backlink won't be lost at all. So you can, you can hold on to that, but if you lose it, it's gone unless the person's gonna be nice enough to replace it for you, okay? And that's gonna hurt your authority as well. This will take a little bit of time to get back up to speed on. It's not a long-term effect, but it will take some time to get back to where you are. There you go, guys. I hope that that helped you make a decision on whether you're gonna keep that ugly website ugly or turn it into a beautiful butterfly. That's up to you. Uh, if you want a little bit more information, if you decide to make that website beautiful, you can go to my link in my description for my free guide to building landing pages with Elementor. Totally free, no obligations at all. And don't forget about my free consultation. It's running from now until forever. I've been getting a lot of great responses on this. I'm giving away a free consultation once a week to a business that's really, really in need. I want to help businesses that absolutely need it. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe on this video, then go to my website. Just give me a little pitch as to why you really need this help right now. I would be happy to take a look at it and I'll get in touch with you pretty quickly. Otherwise, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe on this video and I'll catch you in the next one.